My name is Alex Bulmer. I am a writer and performer, um, theater maker. The term deaf and disability arts, it, it could mean different things. I personally would say that it, it, how I would define my work, fitting into that would be the work that I do that um, I would say that is driven by my experience as a blind woman, I would call, uh, would, would fit into deaf and disability arts or work that I create that includes and imagines disabled people, deaf and disabled people in the audience, I would also call that deaf and disability arts. If you walk down the street every day and you only see the same people and you don't even have a concept that, um, you know, that, that there are others who should also be participating in everyday social activity, whether it be walking down the street or on the subway or in restaurants, etc. If, if people are not actually interacting in your everyday, then it becomes extremely difficult to imagine them participating as well in arts and cultural activities. If anybody says, oh, we can't, we can't, we don't know how, you know, we don't have funding, I say, okay, well, the very first thing, very first step, imagine who's not in the room, imagine, imagine they are. And I think policies that insist that this act of imagination is encouraged. And, and so that might be actually taking artistic directors of companies actively seeking um, artists or festivals that are specifically set up, let's say, deaf and disabled festivals. Let's get the artistic directors to those festivals. Anywhere that we can see those role models in life will, will help us to imagine uh, all of us also in the arts. <laughs>